All right, Randy, what's the story? Where did the Lopez come from, and what's the background on the board, Jerry, the whole story of the era? Well, as you know, it's really hard to find a real Jerry Lopez-shaped lightning bolt. There was a lot of bolts made under license um, via Hobie on, in California, and those usually have a little squiggly uh, signature here that says Jerry Lopez, or else it actually has a script thing that says Jerry Lopez. But what makes this unique, if you look in really close, written on the actual foam, is the word Lopez and, it, and a really distinctive sort of lettering style that Jerry uses. Right. So we yep. know that this is um, actually a real Lopez and to find a real Lopez is really valuable. Now this particular one is a real fun small one. It's six foot eight, it's about 20 inches wide. And I would say this board was designed for like Al Moan on the south shore of Oahu or perhaps Rocky Point here on the north shore. And it's, it's seen some fair bit of use. It's got a what we call a red opaque bottom and lap. And a lot of little scratches and small little dings, but no major dings. What's neat about it is it's set up with a fin box so you can adjust the fin to ride bigger waves. So you can put a bigger fin, smaller uh, waves, you put a smaller fin in. So it's kind of fun to have a fin box. But this is the classic uh, round pin design. And of course, it's got the classic lightning bolt, black lightning bolt. And if you look really close, it's got a double actual black ink line and an orange pin line that kind of matches the orange deck. So. I would say all in all, uh, a really good example of probably about 74, 75, um, mid-70s bolt. And the fact that it was shaped by Jerry, uh, like I said, hard to find. And uh, all in all, pretty classic example of a uh, great board from the mid-70s there. Mm -hmm. You talked about it. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Randy. My pleasure. Wonderful. Uh,